Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Popular Stranger. We're back today with episode number 9 of my Madden Ultimate Team series. Seems to be the most popular series running on my channel right now, so uh, here we go with another episode. I hope you guys enjoy this one uh, as you seem to have been enjoying the past episodes. And uh, if you're catching up on the series, check that link in the description down below for the entire playlist. And uh, you can keep up to date. So again, this is episode number 9. We are kind of scrolling through my cards right now. You saw my lineup uh, a few moments ago. And I just wanted to take a little tour of every card on my roster at this point. You see we got an updated head-to-head -head record of 26-3 and three right here. And a lot of coins in the bank, and I'll get to that here in a moment. Um, but again, this will be a head-to-head -head gameplay in this episode, and we're taking on... You couldn't see it there because it happened so fast, but my opponent is a 93 overall in this game, and I believe at this point I was an 88. Um, and I've been doing a lot of mixing and matching in uh, with my team, and I've been trying to do that for certain episodes just so I can give you guys different players on my team and, and try to win with different guys. So uh, a big challenge here is I'm going with, um, gosh, I'm, I'm losing my train of thought here, Tyrod Taylor. I'm going with Tyrod Taylor as my quarterback who's ranked like a 68 or 69 overall. Very um, athletic quarterback from Virginia Tech, I believe. Yeah, Virginia Tech. So uh, I thought it'd be a nice little challenge. And this video starts off real funny. As you see, this guy basically could have scored on me, but he tries to get cute. He tries to showboat on me. And uh, you guys just watch the next four downs and see what happens. He, he activated my uh, angry mode, and I was very determined to not let him get in the end zone at all, and uh, you see the first three downs, he's not getting anywhere, and then he's going to try to go for it on fourth down, and uh, he's going to fail. I'll, I'll spoil it there for you now, so the uh, the douchebag of the year award goes to the guy who tried to showboat on me, didn't end up scoring, and then uh, gets held for zero points. Um, so, I won't really talk about the gameplay much more unless some things pop out to me. Um, but, you know, sit back, relax, and cruise through it, as I always say. And uh, also, while it's on my mind, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. The Twitter name is down below in the description as well. It's at StrangerPopular. Terrible interception there. Uh, not the way I wanted to start the game after a big defensive stop. Um... But yeah, so some things that we'll just talk about here. The next episode, you know, I mentioned or you guys saw the amount of coins I had at this point. Um, you know, this point of recording. And we're going to do a huge pack opening episode next episode. So number 10, um, I purchased the Super All Pro Bundle of 24 packs. I went ahead and got that. And then I also uh, purchased a three legendary pack bundle so we got like 27 packs to go through next episode i think you guys enjoyed the last pack opening episode so i think you guys will like this one even more um so yeah that's that's gonna be a, a pretty big pretty big episode i don't know uh, how long it might be but uh it, it could take some time to get through 27 packs i'll try to edit it uh, the best I can so it you know we don't have to sit through the loading screens and things like that but um, I'm pretty excited to bring it to you guys I recorded it a little while ago so I don't even really remember what cards I was earning in those packs um, but you know at this point what I'm really trying to do is complete team collections so after episode 10 uh, episode 11 has also already been recorded it's going to be another gameplay another head-to-head -head gameplay um, and then after that I'm not sure what we're going to do I have nothing recorded after that point um, but again I'm, I'm really right now making effort an effort to go after the team collections and for those of you who have been you know going after collections you know specifically the team ones there's a lot of rare silver cards that are, you know, stopping people from completing the collections with ease. Um, so pretty much what I've been doing recently is just buying nothing but silver packs and uh, just trying to hope 
you know, hoping to earn the cards that I need for these collections to finish him off. So uh, I'm hoping in episode number 12 we can do some type of finishing collection slash opening up some key packs episode because as you all might know or maybe you don't when you finish the team collections your reward is a key pack so i've had super great awesome fantastic fabulous luck with key packs so far i've mentioned it before the first one i pulled i believe well i might have them out of order but i got a key warner uh a kurt warner key card which i sold for 60k a shannon sharp key card which I sold for 60k, and a Steve Young key card, which I think I sold for 58k. So I'm hoping my luck with Legends and key packs continues as I get ready here to try to finish up some team challenges or uh, team team collections. The four that I'm really working hard on now. I, I finished the Eagles one. That was the first I did. Um, the four that I'm closest to now. Um, are the Redskins, the 49ers, which is going to be extremely tough because of the Patrick Willis card. Um, 49ers, Seahawks, Redskins, and Falcons. And the Falcons one, I'm only two cards away, but the one card I really need. And if any of my subscribers can help me with this card, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, but the William Moore Strong Safety ranked overall 81 from the Falcons. I need that card. So if any of you guys might have it, hit me up in the comments. Let me know. I'm even willing to trade a uh, a Julius Peppers gold card, a 97 right end card for it. So, again, if you got that card and you want to make a deal, um, let me know. I'd be more than willing to give up that Julius Peppers card for William Moore, which is a lopsided trade when you really look at it uh, overall ratings and skill-wise. So, um yeah, other than that, um, you know, I, I just hope you guys are enjoying the episode here. You see that I pulled away from my opponent. 24-14. Um, One thing I guess I can talk about while I have the time here is, you know, I, I really want to... I've been trying to, you know, have a pretty good team while still maintaining like a low 90s overall rated team. But this past weekend... I uh, I jumped into a match with a guy with a 95 overall, and you know it's not a huge deal because I've played guys who were 98, 96, 95, and and you know some of them I beat, but this particular guy just had nothing but legends and dupes and oh look at this fumble guys you guys have to tell me did you think that was a fumble? Um, that was pretty much insane. And I know the guy who I played was very upset at that. I didn't even realize it was a fumble until well after it happened. But now that I am running out of time here, the next topic for the next episode is, or you can talk about it in the comments below, is do you think the legend cards are overpowered? Because I ran into a player who had nothing but legends. Um, a cloner is what I think people call him on the EA Sports forum. And, um, you know, it was just it was just not a good experience for me. Um, but you see, we're going to get the win here on a race quit and improve to 27 and three. I'm out until the next episode, guys. Peace. Enjoy your Sunday.